we have another day to practice. It's good to think about that every day. We don't know how many more days we're going to have, but we do have today, at least part of today. And it's the practice that makes it an auspicious day. There's that verse that they chant often at funerals in Thailand about how you should realize that you don't go chasing after the past or chasing after the future because the past is gone, the future is yet to come. So instead you stay right on top of whatever is happening in the present moment because tomorrow death might come. That's the Buddha's context always for his emphasis on being in the present moment, because you don't just be in the present moment, there's work to do in the present moment. And it's the work you do that makes this an auspicious day. It doesn't depend on the stars, it doesn't depend on anything else, it depends on your actions, your determination in training the mind. So whether today is going to be auspicious or not depends on your practice. Generosity, virtue, meditation, all these things make this an auspicious day. And value the day that you have, because it's only in the present moment you, where you can do the work on the mind. The past is done and gone, the future hasn't come yet. It's right here that you look at your intentions and sort them out. Which ones are useful, which ones are not, which ones are going to lead to short-term happiness, which ones are going to lead to long-term happiness. Then you have to make your decisions, which one are you going to follow? Because that will shape your opportunities in the future, for the next days you have. The more skillful choices you make now, the more opportunities there will be to make the future days even more auspicious too. So everything comes back to your actions. Make sure that your actions are well considered as you do them. The other day when we were up in Portland, I was talking about a John Lee's basic image for the practice, which is that it is a skill that you develop, and you develop your skills by making something and then looking at it, deciding what needs to be changed, and then make another one, then make another one. If it's a basket or a pot or a pair of pants or a shirt or whatever you Whatever you're making, you look at your object, the object becomes your teacher, and then it reflects your actions. So you go back and you look at your actions, see what you can change if it, you don't like what you've got. This woman asked, well, how would you apply that to your daily life? And I said, well, it's the same thing. It's not just with meditation, it's everything you do in the course of the day. Look at your actions and look at the results, and if you realize the results didn't come out as you wanted to, use some ingenuity and figure out a better way to do it. Talk it over with other people. The complaint was, well, it sounds like an awful lot of thinking. And the reply, of course, is, well, what else are you going to think about? This is where you're responsible. This is what shapes your life. So you want to take an active role in shaping it well. 